Hello, and welcome to Blackout TV, where we're going to be casting Strong Opinions versus uh, Super Dickmans, uh, the winners of Division 1. And we're going to go straight into the mid here, because they've already just started. And I'm casting with Vita today, if you want to say hey quickly, Vita. Yeah, hello, honey. Uh, we go in and just already we see uh, SDCK being on the back foot here, losing two players right off the bat. Uh, Cloudy getting a nice sniper pick, and the Sword having a really good angle here, just getting in a ton of spam, and I think the rest of the team will just move forward here, taking it easily. Yeah, no, uh, completely dominant mid there. Looks like the sniper had so much room there, and they are going to just be setting up behind the house right now. They do have a full crit streak right now. Spelling wants to see if he can get on the cliff here. CJ in a really nice position there with two or three of his players just taking control of that cliffside here. And really what they want to do now is Super Dickman is kind of back out, regroup as a team, and... Um, they haven't been able to do that. They have lost Spelly in the process. Flirtle's trying to go for a pick onto Ali here, but Ali's managing to get a surf out there. Really nice by him. And they are just going to reset it here. A little bit chaotic in the first uh, two minutes from Super Dickmans. Yeah, this spot the uh, CD time to get his own Uber. Uh, is he on Uber or crit? I, I didn't actually see it, but either way, uh, we see BC, the, the red medic here, going out with his crits on the top side, and he popped it on his demo, and so far, no real luck finding any targets. They do find one. It's Steve. That's the the pyro. But uh, losing a pyro for a crit squeak, that's pretty good in Highlander, I'd, I'd reckon. And uh, <laughs> CJ has popped his own Uber, and so it's just clean up time at this point. So Super Dickmans continues to <coughs> sorry struggle to um, uh, to move forward here as my throat just struggles to actually wake up. <laughs> that is absolutely fine. I have just woken up to you and it looks like CJ is going to get bombed on here. Wow, survives there on 6 HPs there. Really well played by him. And you guys know, they seem completely in control of the page really. Like that Crits Creek really had nothing coming from it. Like they could have got the pick onto Ali. They were they couldn't even do that. CJ held his Uber for such a long time. Which does mean that Beast has a big advantage but it looks like he went down during that fight. So he is just going to be keeping that Crits Creek out. But now CJ with an Uber advantage against a Crits Creek. That's quite a big advantage in that situation and soup, like they're just holding the cliff constantly yeah we need some some big spy plays here from super dickman to actually make something happen you know like we need a, a sniper or a spy to get get cj but uh, so far cj has a lot of protection there we of course see the soldiers using uh, the laser gun right now which might be bad on this map uh, I'm not entirely sure, you know, it, it's kind of a, a straight upgrade in 6v6, but in Highlander there's always a mini sentry around, so... Uh, either way, we have a crit squeak coming in by Ali, completely shuts it down, just picks off uh, BC right away, and it's even a counter Uber coming in from CJ. That should just be completely own it, coming out here from uh, Strong Opinions. Yeah, you can see how well Strong Opinions are playing around that medic of CJ. CJ able to hold that Uber again for a very, very long period of time, bait the whole enemy team in from Super Dickmans and just get absolutely destroyed in that trigger point by an Uber charge. Um, but yeah, no, I think the reason that people are using the Cow Mangler now is obviously because all the debuffs have actually come off of it, apart from obviously damage to sentry guns and whatever. But it can yeah. be charged shot now, obviously, and reloaded at exactly the same speed as a rocket launcher, which was its thing before, which was wrong with it. Yeah, but we yeah, actually no. Toaster coming in onto the medic here. Oh, he gets spotted by a demo. Sorry to cut you off, but yes, you're completely right with the, with the laser gun. But the Raptor's about to pop a banner. There's a medic here, but it uh, gets taken down by, uh, by a cleaver of all things. And a very dominant round here coming out from strong opinions. And let's hope uh, that we can see a little bit uh, more contestant here coming in from Super Dickmans in round two. Yeah, they need to organize. They need to get onto CJ more. CJ didn't even die that round, so they are going to be definitely looking for that frag as we come to the next mid here. Speddy looks like he wants to get here really fast. Ali taking that more passive approach and just saving his sticks for the big fight as a whole team here for Super Dick Wins coming in right now. Clark goes down early. Really nice pick there. They are just going to back off though slowly, and it just looks like here that Strong Opinion is taking their time. The heavy's way, way too far across, but they're going to get picked off. And Spelly's not even rooted right now, so he's going to have to back off as well. And just really well played Strong Opinion is just waiting for the demo to be released of the demo man and lit just holding it, just holding it completely. The demo man did no damage whatsoever, and they're able to uh, get away with that pretty. But I say that CJ goes down at the end of that fight to the cow mangler, <laughs> so they are going to be capping this point. Yeah, Super Digman actually uh, did manage to edge that out in the end there. You know, getting the, the sniper pick right away was really important. But uh, then, like, uh, the Spies did a lot of work for both teams on this mid. And I, I thought that the DVS, is, is that the Heavy's name there? Going that far forward and getting picked off actually cost him the mid. But apparently he just bought his team enough space or he didn't get punished for it at all. So now we see uh, 
CJ with the massive Uber disadvantage, they're going to have to push into a full Uber, trying to see if they can actually force PC in some way. And so far, they're, they're not getting it done. And well, what do you reckon here? How would you force the medic here uh, as uh, strong opinions? Well, as a Sixers player, I would most likely do a suicide wave, but now oh. seeing BC just cross the point in front of Cloudy's sightline, that is a very, very big mistake there. That is something you can't do in Highlander, especially against Cloudy. And he's just going to take him out there and give the uber advantage back to CJ. CJ was able to build at 70%. There was no pressure from Super Dickmans, just allowing him in, giving heals off to his team, and giving space for Cloudy to do something. And now look, they're holding the cliff area again. Exactly the same position as before. Heavy on top, Demo watching the doorway, and this is going to be a really hard forward hold break. Yeah, Magikarp does manage to pick off Cloudy there. Uh, Cloudy got kind of uh, stuck in the back, as snipers tend to do, but uh, <laughs> it was just a, a spy who took him out. Uh, a nice little headshot and uh, some follow-up. But that's basically the only thing they have going for them. Hopefully that can be enough, but they've gone out through um, uh, the, the left side here, and Ali's just onto them and just takes down the medic right away. Does a ton of damage onto this heavy, and this is just clean-up duty. Ali is not going to miss anything here. And he even jumps up onto uh, Cliff's side here, doing so much work. Yeah. Demolished. I, I feel like Ellie did 700 damage there. This one scout alive on mid. Tries to get out. Can't make it. Yeah, no, Daniga actually went in there for a play and he actually uh, managed to take down CJ. Um, so yeah, no, a bit of a misplay there coming up. But yeah, no, Super Dickmans really need to look at their medic positioning there and that was absolutely awful. They just came in on the left hand side. And they were just hoping for something to happen. Ali was already in position to see it and they just popped Uber. They really realizing that they could get a med pick. But Uber yeah, we see the vaccinator push favorite. here coming out, but the uh, BZ goes down, so uh, so much for that. Uh, I feel like they, they might just be, be trying to go forward here. You know, the heavy's eating a sandwich. There's a bit of a, some time t downtime here that they can just uh, exploit, but uh, they will just retreat and, and wait for their medic to respawn, I suppose. Uh, they haven't quite retreated. I feel like uh, they just sort of waddled around and didn't quite... And Steve is onto the medic here. Oh, and he takes him down with the help of Ali. That was... Uh, some very indecisive play coming up Super Dickman's here and they get punished for it. A bit of miscommunication, the medic came out on the right side on his own. They're just getting picked off one by one, they're just running in, out of spawn, one by one. Steve's picking them off, Ali's picking them off, Emilio's there, gonna pick off the Solly here. Yes. Um, I remember... A bit... Sorry, carry on. Oh, okay. I... It's not really important, but I, I just I think I remember last uh, land. I think I remember watching Steve going absolutely huge on Pyro, you know, because Pyro is one of those guys that really benefits from low ping. Uh, it just usually doesn't matter in, in sixes, right? So you don't see it. But in Highlander, there's there's a perma Pyro, so you, you often just see the Pyro going absolutely ham, and the, those flames do so much damage. As we continue to see this uh, funneling in of uh, of useless players, and and they just get taken down one by one, and I really feel like uh, Super Digmans need to coordinate better here. Yeah, no, they are trying to get through this choke point here. Steve's just holding them off for as much time as possible here. They have managed to get time off the board, though, so it is an improvement off of last round. But CJ now has that uber vantage right now. He could probably take it straight in there. Looks like the pyro has actually switched with the medic here. Fungus has decided it's time to go medic. Uh, but Steve's... Wow, big pyro jump there from Steve. Managing to get onto the medic. I know it was wow. at the end of the round there, but Jesus. Yeah, he's pretty good at that. Uh, the pyro class, double class. So it's two to zero. We we saw about one minute go off the clock there for Super Digman. So following uh, the pattern, they should get at least two minutes off the, the clock here. I'm I'm pumped. <laughs> totally pumped as we go into the next middle here. Daniga Daniga trying to see if he can get into uh, Viljack there. He's holding that connector area. It's just a one on one between the scouts there, but nothing much happening between them as they both back off. Um, both teams again. Look how far back strong opinions are, and they see the health now. And they see the damage that's being put out here by Ali. Oh, we, we down a, a, <laughs> How is this working? Okay, I thought I was about to work for Super Digman, but you know, they just had like a, a demo man going in there, but just a complete domination now. Uh, this poor medic just getting rushed down by an entire team. So, you see uh, the, the red sword here coming in onto mid, trying to maybe get some cheeky frags, but uh, can't quite get it. It's oh, a bit still... sloppy, isn't it? It's all a bit all over the place, like the frags and stuff that are going in. It looks like Super Dickmans are trying things to see if they can uh, break the line of strong opinions, but it hasn't worked so far. I think they might have gone just four gimmicks here. As we see Raptor popping a banner, and now they're just going to use this, uh, this momentum and all of this speed to just rush down players and, 
This is so difficult one to deal with. The, the Demo Knight might just get out here alive uh, thanks to his uh, resistances. Yeah, he does get out alive, but the uh, Soldier overextends here and gets taken down by Raptor in the corner. And there we go. So just yet another push here. CD does go down in all of that chaos, so that's something. So uh, Toaster... Is that Silver Toaster? Uh, the Medic? Or Toaster Fun? Mm. Uh, no, that's not in Fungus. He actually is supposed to be playing Pyro. Uh -oh. um, <laughs> but a lot of gimmicks going on here. BC was on Medic to begin with. He's now on Soldier. Uh, so a lot of switching of the classes is happening right now for Super Dickmans. Maybe they aren't taking this as seriously as I suppose. But they haven't managed to get any time off the clock right now. It's uh, a minute down already. Uh, yeah, Raptor going huge. What a route to do. <laughs> Uh, he, he just spanked uh, a lot of players, like literally spanked them to death. Uh, that was pretty good fun. As we see another forward hole coming in from strong opinions. Let's see how uh, Super Digmans decide to break this. Looks like they're, they're putting some pressure on through center with a soldier and a, and a sniper, but it might just be the right side again. I, I think that's uh, kind of the, the standard way of breaking this. I actually have a pause. Oh, Oop, that was the short pause. <laughs> Very, very short pause. Maybe someone trying to get back into the server. But it looks like Spelling wants to get in here on CJ, but they have got it fixed now, so they are just going to be having a melee fight Spelling. in the connector area. <laughs> and Spelling nearly gets CJ, but uh, unfortunately is killed off. But it looks like this game is over. They might be thinking about the next map now. Um, they are just going to be going in one by one again. Uh, it's Super Demons were trying to change something, like they could try and see if they can pick someone off on the flank because they are really overextended. They've gone in this four-man kill squad a lot of times with uh, Demo, Medic, Pyro oh, and Soldier. Oh, Medic does go down. Gets, gets rushed down by, by a Flurple. <laughs> he, he doesn't even understand how he did that. Um, let's just blame the low ping on that one, you know, Pyro doing uh, a crap ton of damage. But uh, once again, we just see everyone just cleaning house here from uh, strong opinions. Just taking everyone down as they funnel in one by one. The spies onto the sniper, but I think he's gonna uh, just die. No, he actually survives. So surprising to me. Uh, well played by Magic Club. They managed actually to pick off Ale, but it looks like BC's now gonna try and get onto the medic. Unfortunately, not being able to do much. CJ in a really good position. He is on Vaccinator right now. And I think this game is just gonna be over. I think. In total, Super Dickman's got 40 seconds off the clock. Something of that extent, yeah. You know, they they got some. They they won the mid fight in, in round two, and that's all the time they got off of it. And then uh, their medic promptly dropped the Uber in a very bewildering fashion, and then it was all downhill from there. But either way, I, I think uh, this was a, the, the expected result. I don't know if there's a map two or if it's a, a group play. I haven't really been paying attention. I was just called in here like last second. There is, so. there is indeed a map two. Um, the map two is process. Process, and okay. So that could be quite, maybe a little bit more interesting than the, the map that we've just watched, which was a complete roll. Basically, yeah. Um, yeah. Strong Opinions won Premiership. While um, Super Dickmans have just one high, so they are going up to Prem. But um, it's early days, and Strong Opinions have been together for quite a while, I believe. So they do have some relatively strong players and good cohesion, which we probably saw in that map. Yeah, I think uh, there's some small changes on like basically every single roster at this land, just because there's a lot of people and some of them couldn't go to land. Right, so there's like some small changes here and there, but overall, uh, there's no doubt that strong opinions should be favored here. But process is a map that you can slow down a lot in Highlander. There's uh, there's basically like two to three big chokes, and it's very easy just to just lock those down, especially when you have like all these defensive classes. So, you know, uh, a lesser team can definitely just slow it down and then just hope they get like a really lucky med pick or you know take down their sniper and just create a lot of space that way. You know, it, it's definitely in the realm of possibility that you can just use the map to your advantage here and like the few times I've played this map in Highland it always ended like 2 to 0 or something so it's very slow yeah no definitely uh, it, it could be quite slow it could be quite fast we'll, we'll, we'll find out obviously when we're in the game see if Super Dickman's put a more of a fight against Strong Opinions um, what could uh, Strong Opinion no not Strong Opinion Super Dickman's do to change something up like, what do they need to do against this kind of five-man kill squad going around by uh, strong opinions? 
they definitely need to coordinate better than they are at the moment because we see a lot of the time where they will send in one player and like uh, they'll they usually like split up their team so they have like a number of people going out certain entrances and then they they lose some fights and they win some fights and it just becomes really uncoordinated so they need to to bunch up a lot better and then just have much better team cohesion and i know this is a lot easier said than done right there's a lot of people on a highlander team so organizing all of that is, is extremely difficult but uh, it was definitely very clear that uh, you, we had a lot of people overextending and and falling back when they shouldn't and leaving their teammates out to dry and that happened a lot so that's definitely where i would start and then also just try to play the map uh, to the best of your ability and not just play uh, to your own strengths and the t enemy team the map is a factor as well uh -huh. yeah no, no that, that makes complete sense of what you said there but uh Basically, there's a bug on server 2, apparently, so there's no logs. So we won't be able to see those, but I don't think we need to see them anyway. I think it was quite a big roll, a big landslide victory for strong opinions. So yeah, no, I totally agree with the coordination. Definitely needed right now. <laughs> Looks like Spelly's on the charge and charge again, but I've seen him uh, work it. I think uh, he was the demo man for four skins, and even in sixes, he used it all the time on Sunshine, which people think it wouldn't work, and it it really did. He did so much damage, he did more damage than our opposing demo man. So when on, we were in prem in sixes, but obviously this is Highlander now; it's completely different. Right. Um. But yeah, no, it would be interesting to see if that does actually work for him because he can be very, very good with it. And I, I know it seems like a kind of a gimmicky weapon, but it is true. Like he does play it quite a lot, so he does know what he's doing. Um. Yeah, hopefully Super Dick Minions can do something more on mid. Like, they did win that one mid fight where they kind of baited strong opinions into them. And I think that's something that they need to do again. They need to try and see if they can keep more health this time. And see if they can do something. But a lot of gimmicky weapons are coming out right now in the pregame. And I'm hoping that they're just not going to be used. <laughs> I yeah. did see um, Clark on the Huntsman. Uh... Yeah, that was uh, towards the end of the, the map where everyone seemed to have kind of given up. So I, I don't think uh, that was like a serious thing. I think that was just a full game mix. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. I hope. I, I thought I did see it on the, the first round, but I'm not I'm too not sure. Too we'll have to see see what happens. Um, it does look like we'll be going into this one again. Do you want to... Um... Actually, no. They are just about to start anyway. All right. Let's see if we actually get the demo man's fast to mid. I, I think I've heard uh, quite a lot of... Uh... Like uh, theories about how you should not go fast to mid on this map in Highlander, uh, because you can't really lock down the choke very well without being extremely dangerous for you. But uh, wow. Spelly's going to go pretty fast, and Ali's going to be even faster. Uh, is, is that the jumper? No, Ali just had a huge jump across mid. On early stick onto Spelly here. Looks like uh, they are going to be on the quick fix here. Uh, our super digmas, but really quick bomb there by Raptor with the biggest bazooka getting three picks. Raptor's still alive right now, so low on health, but he got four picks on that mid fight, and that is literally going to con- Like, oh my- that should never have worked, what he just did then. Yeah, wow, and Cloudy even getting a really nice headshot to, to end it all off. It's a good way to just uh, put the nail in the coffin on that one. So, uh, there was a lot of gimmicks going on there, people just flying to mid with the quick fix, and, and jumpers, and all sorts of different things. Well, that was fun. Let's see, uh... Uh, how they managed to push in here. They're actually going to go in left side here. They're, they're going to cast out a sniper really quickly, it looks like. But here comes the Uber, and they're actually going to Uber in the scout. That's Pablo. Taking a lot of the Uber here. Takes down Clark right away. And so far, they're, they're cleaning up really well. And now it's just a matter of winning the DM fight that's going to commence here. And Spelly does go down, and yep, that's going to be it. Only two players wow. remaining. Here. Nice push. That was a minute 20 seconds that round. That was how dominant it was. There was no hope. As soon as that mid-fight occurred and they all died and everyone was alive for strong opinions, that's when you know it's gone badly. Especially in Highlander when there's nine players on each team and you're only losing one or two for nine. But yeah, yeah he's going to jump Ali. super fast forward again and uh, steal both medkits right away. It's a really interesting uh, rollout here. So Daniga, oh, barely survived that. He's going to run behind. And uh, Spelly actually gets taken down by a Reflect uh, Sticky. That's the first time I've seen that in a long time. Toast is about to come in from behind here in, in Choke, but everyone's just dead already. So another really strong mid. Uh, Fungus might just get out alive here. Toast oh. the Fungus. 
Ooh, so sneaky. He's learned something from you, I think. He's been watching your demos, honey. Oh, he's not quite as sneaky, though. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I was I was rooting for him then as he tried to escape, but CJ's going to have to pop Uber here. Good force there by Spelly, and they are just going to be forced back into spawn right now. Point two hasn't been capped yet, so um, Super Dickmans can take their time on this one. A Seal and Toast are having a battle right now, and Seal is the victor. So they are just going to cap up this point two, and they are going to have an Uber advantage to push into last point. So let's see what Super Dickmans do on that last point. Yeah, the Blue Scout here is uh, putting on a ton of pressure, and I th it looks like uh, Super Digman is actually pushing out. Like, they, they have the presence on the point, but there's so many people from uh, Strong Opinions in the lobby, and they might just be going on to last. This is a very interesting situation. It's very dynamic. As we see, like, there's a sentry on last. There's a very weak demo man. Ali's behind lines. Uh, I think, yeah, he just took down Spelly, and now he's dealing with the sentry. But he's so weak, and oh, come on, Medic, please don't die. Please don't die, Medic. Oh, Ali takes down the Medic. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then, and that's another round for um, uh, Strong Opinions. Maybe a little bit more messy for Strong Opinions, but they do eventually clean that one up. But uh, yeah, it's a bit all over the place for Super Dickmans right now. Uh, we can see what gimmicks they're running to mid uh, when I see them on the roll. But, you know, Ali's rollout is, look at him right now, he's on mid. Where's Spelly? Spelly is nowhere near. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really got got on really badly last time, so you no, know, I, I don't even mind him being slow to mid. Like, it's not that important to be fast, I don't think. But either way, Danny guy once again is not going to actually shoot people. He's just going to run behind. So once again, really Raptor getting some nice early kills. We actually have like a really strong majority of Super Dickman's team just hiding in their own p his sewers, and uh, Papa's going to come in from behind, take him down. Yeah. Like, they're, they're just so passive. It's like they've given up even before going to mid. And, you know, like, you, you can't play to not lose as fast. You have to just play to win. Otherwise, what's the point of playing? No, I think you're completely right. Like, they're not taking any position. They're just falling back as much as possible. And that is really giving Strong Opinions so much room to move. And you can't do that. Because we've seen what's happened. They've given up two rounds already. They're about to give up a third if they can't hold this. And CG does have 100% Uber coming in. The DVS is about to get taken down by a uh, spy alone. Uh, the scout comes in, Papa cleans up, and there you go, another round. It really just looks like uh, Super Digmans has completely given up here. Um, like everything in chat has just been, been, oh no, end my suffering, kill me please, and so on. So it looks like they've pretty much given up. I'm just going to watch Ali on these rollouts. They're just perfect every time, and he just steals both medkits, and Spelly has just given up on it, and uh, he's going to do it again. Like, it's so effective here. Spelly is going to be in there, and he's just going to jump low. in. That's, uh, oh. that's interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Flirtle's actually decided to go to the Demoman class. Now, Raptor again onto uh, Fungus, but Fungus does jump away from that, is able to survive. But how much space does Ali have across this point? Fungus is going to get taken down by Emilio, and this is just a complete roll here coming out. Yeah, we saw the heavy eating the... Was it like the buffalo steak sandwich? And... Having mini crits on his uh, his melee, just running in there, trying to get it. You see a pyro fighting a soldier here in uh, in uh, sewers. So far, the pyro is winning. Not too surprising, as uh, he runs into a heavy and ends it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I, just, I don't see any way that I can say that strong opinions aren't rolling this because they are. They're just destroying them. Even yeah. CJ is getting in on the action now and managing to get cleaned up there but um they are just going to cap this point here very very quickly it looks like they do want to come and contest the left side here but they are just going to cap that point as cj takes off the uber and that's four nil on the board in six minutes which is so fast for highlander especially on this map which you said obviously two nil that's what i usually see in score lines yeah yeah, that's like, yeah, you always been like uh, 20 minutes just getting the first round that's what it feels like to me but so far the strong pins are just so strong here, and Ali just like look at this. He might have even surfed too much here. Um, yeah, he actually surfed too much, so he, he's not going to do the second jump. But let's see, Flirtle once again with the the sticky jumper just in the skybox, uh, tempting fate, and so far has not died. There we go. Finally, does go down. So Toast tries to run into a pyro and somehow doesn't die. That's wonderful. Come on, come on, Fat Heavy. Nope, gets taken down by Toast as well. And finally goes down to the backburner pyro of, of Spelly here. But 
once again, it's just uh, pretty much a clown fiesta going on. You know, it's just about uh, getting some cool kills, I guess, at this point. Yeah, celebration as BC is the first one to reach double figures on uh, Super Dickmans. Uh, they will be looking to see if they can push through Trokey Flirtle, trying to get a pick onto Cloudy, but the positioning of Strong Opinions right now is perfect. They've just come straight out with a Crit's Krieg onto Seal, managing to get two frags there. And DVS is going to try and see if he can get the mini crits here. Unfortunately, being picked off by CJ, good pick off by him. And I'm trying to take it seriously, but this is just, uh, this is falling apart right now for Super Yeah, uh, Cloudy even uh, uh, deciding to, that now is a good time to turn on his aimbot. You know, this is where you need it. As uh, even uh, Pablo proves that meat is uh, better than glass and takes down the opposing demo. And there we go. What a game. That was fast. Painless, at least. When you see uh, BC at the top with 10 points and CG has 45, you know then yeah. that, that was quite a, a large roll. Um, shame that we can't get any logs up to see the damage, but... Um, yeah, that that was the fourth round, I believe. Um, hopefully, big contest coming up later on. I think it's strong opinions and fair enough. Hopefully, and that will be quite a good one to watch. Hmm. Are, we, are we sure we don't have? Uh, oh, apparently we're, we're going to the next match. We're going to Team Not versus Doctor of Mediocrity. Now, right now, coming to you. Uh, oh. Do we, Do we have, have connect? connect info? That would be nice. Yep. Uh, that would, that would be nice. Okay. Perfect. I panicked when you said right now. I was like, oh my god, I'm not on the server. <laughs> Help me. Yeah. But no, that, that was interesting. A lot of gimmicks. A lot of tryouts. Um, yeah, I'm kind of impressed with the strong opinions, right? Because often when you see one team just uh, trying off and goofing around and just not taking seriously, you're, you're tempted to just do that yourself and you, you drag things out and you make it kind of a lot more clumsily exciting when it shouldn't be and uh, strong opinions they just kept going and they just got this over with you know they they didn't waste their time and they didn't waste hours either so i can appreciate that at least yeah no, you're, and they did win prem and you can kind of see that from how they play every single time they have every position covered and why super dickman's had to go so so far back is just because how much position i've got to say a standout player for them is probably ali like he was able to get so, so much room for them on mid, just being there so early on and doing so much damage. Like, if you're there on their health kit and doing damage to their demo man straight away, that obviously puts him in a very, very passive position. It means obviously he has to take heals first and he's got to look for the more passive play, which is usually uh, coming from the choke point, the right hand side, um, and coming to that roof area. And Raptor was always on top of his game, managing to get onto that position, allow Steve room, who was doing a lot of damage. I would very much like to see how Steve did, because he was near the top of the team for strong opinions and always has been. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's important that they keep up this, uh, this kind of play. And I think the only reason they kind of took it that seriously is because they do have fair enough, which will be hopefully a close game. Yeah, I, I think uh, there's... It's a safe bet to say that the next match will be a lot closer. So now we saw kind of a, one of the strong favorites uh, take a really demanding map here. Like, uh, you can't uh, just ignore them, you know, for sure that they're, they're here to win. So so now we have that out of the way. We, we saw that. So now it's a matter of can anyone else uh, uh, just show up and maybe even contest them. So, so that's the question we're about to get answered now.